Hi everyone, I'm glad you're here. Thank you for joining me here on Mary Greeley News. Magnitude 3.8 earthquake struck Higdewitz, Western Australia, 11.23 Universal Time or 7.23 p.m. Local Time. Seismic event caught the attention of residents and geologists alike. Actually, given K. Dewitt's history of seismic activity, today I'm going to dive into the details on the felt reports and what it means for Jin. So stick around. Let's start with the facts. According to Geoscience Australia, the earthquake had a magnitude 3.8. Heard east of Kaduits, a small town in Western Australia. Australia's Wheat Belt region, about 180 kilometers or 112 miles northeast of Perth. The shallow depth making it more likely to be felt by locals. Dewitt is no stranger to earthquakes. The town experienced a significant 6.1 magnitude back in 1979. It was recorded as $3.8 million in damage and surprisingly only one injury. A child's arm was broken when masonry fell on them. Much smaller, today's earthquake, part of the region's unusually high activity for Australia. Minor quakes reported annually. I don't think I have that 1979 earthquake on here, but here down to the south. Um, you can see, yeah, there's a whole bunch here. And there is another one way down south, um, 1968, a 6.5. There hasn't been any reports of injuries or damage despite this earthquake's shallow depth. It's only 1.68 miles in depth or three kilometers. Um, 129 people sent in reports to the uh, Geoscience Australia website. If you're in K. Dewis or nearby, I would love to hear about your experience. Drop a comment or submit a report to Geoscience Australia website. What did people feel? Felt reports are critical for understanding an earthquake impact. And platforms like Geoscience Australia, Felt Report page, and the USGS Did You Feel It program, they do collect these firsthand accounts. And based on the magnitude and depth, Residents in Kedouis and nearby towns like Bracken likely felt light shaking. Think, uh, you know, rattling windows or dishes, maybe a brief jolt. Shaking could be felt up to 50 to 100 kilometers away. 100 kilometers would be about 60 miles. Oh, well, it would weaken with distance if you felt it or heard it. On over to earthquakes.ga.gov.au. Click the felt link to share your experience. These reports help scientists map the quake's intensity and improve future predictions. So far, social media posts from the region, such as on X, are buzzing with locals describing a quick rumble. Maybe some, you know, rattling dishes and startling the pets. But no major disruptions were reported. Why does this region keep getting earthquakes? Well, they really don't know. There's lots of faults running through there. We do have the plates that are constantly moving and building up tension. And there has been an increase in earthquakes around the world. So you shouldn't be surprised if you feel more earthquakes or even more in the future. So this area is seismically active, you know, for Australia. Um, it is relatively stable com compared to places like New Zealand or Japan. Geologists point to the tectonic stress in the Australian plate as a cause. 1979 K. quake and the uh, 2001 can swarm our reminder of this activity. This 3.8 event is a minor event, but it's a wake up call to stay prepared. Make sure your emergency kit is ready. Uh, secure heavy objects. Know your evacuation plans. Um, and Geoscience Australia continues to monitor the region. So stay tuned for updates. Yeah. 
Did you feel this earthquake? Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Uh, thank you for watching. Always be prepared. You just don't know. Things are increasing around the world. Please stay safe, and I'll talk to you later. God bless you all. Bye.